in the meantime, we want to talk about filmmaking. And a question for you, what's your dream job? A lot of us talk about things that we dream of. Very few of us actually follow up and do it. This guy has, and he's one of our coworkers, Mike Carroll, um, who's one of the photographers on staff. How long have you been here? Uh, this will be 20 years. Wow, and oh, during that here. time, um, Mike has had this, this avid interest not only in films, but also in filmmaking. And over the years, you have successfully done that. I have, oh, I've always wanted to be make films and that's why I got into TV news because TV news basically has been my film school mm -hmm. and um, but it, it used to be that when I got interested in wanting to make movies you had to shoot on film which meant a lot of money but then 10 years ago when the digital revolution came out suddenly that whole thing changed you could make a movie with a camcorder like the camcorder that you have yeah that you shoot stuff with and uh, then I thought now is the time so I jumped in right at the beginning 10 years ago and um, uh, with just like a two thousand dollar camcorder then and made uh, my first film a documentary that's gone on to play in uh, uh, film festivals and uh, then I got a better camcorder and actually started to make what I always wanted to do full-length movies. And as Mike went on and started doing this, you accumulated obviously a lot of knowledge about the technology. And your new book right now is called Naked Filmmaking, How to Make a Feature-Length Film Without a Crew for $10,000 or less, if I may do a dramatic reading here. <laughs> I, I loved even the first line, uh, Naked Filmmaking. Why? Are you kidding? Because I want this book to sell. <laughs> and I think for a lot of people who have these dreams, the idea of trying to, to commercialize or monetize what it is that you're passionate about is a tricky one. And what you have said is, if filmmaking uh, is your passion, you don't have to go broke trying to do it. That's the biggest thing is that, um, you know, things are cheap enough to do it now. And I've always, my heroes have always been people who were the hyphenates, like the producer, director, writer, producer, director, and people also that are a director cameraman. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what I always wanted to do. So uh, a number of people I know that make, uh, make films, they do it the same crew route that we've always heard about, where you've got to get a cameraman and a sound man and an editor and all of that. And then when you see their films, if the lighting isn't good, you blame it on the lighting guy. If, right. if something else is, you blame it on them. Whereas for me, um, when I make a movie, I do all of that. So I'm in effect naked before the audience. So that's why I call it naked filmmaking because you are totally on your own. One of the tips that you give in the book um, is to look around and see who's around you, what places are around you. So don't spend money getting permits um, to go rent a place to go do something or get permission to be there. Look around and ask your friends. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you really only need permits if you're gonna block traffic. <laughs> so, like with my last film, I shot on the streets of the city, but I shot at night when there was no traffic. Right. So you just kind of work around things. And in Sacramento, we do have a lot of people who are very interested in film. We've got our own great local film festival, um, and so many people are passionate about it. So I think you're probably talking right now to a lot of um, people who are either avid filmmakers or whose kids are, who are relieved to hear that you don't have to spend a lot of money. True. And, you know, everybody always says, you know, comments about a movie, you know, it would have been so much better this way, or I've got a great idea for a movie. People are always coming up to me saying, I've got a great idea for a movie. And I tell people, well, you should do it. You should make it, because now you can make it for less than what a used car costs. Yeah. And um, what you do is if it's something that you've always wanted to do, it is affordable, and you either do it and get it out of your system, <laughs> or- And be quiet. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, or you don't do it, and you wind up being miserable and going to a therapist, which will cost much, much, much more. more. And much more of your time in addition to that. Yeah. So what's next for you? Um, well, I'm planning another movie, and uh, one thing I, I always have people ask me is what kind of cameras to use. Right. I always use a different camera because technology is always changing. So I buy a camera for each movie. And I thought the people might be interested that the next movie I'm making, I'm shooting with this. That looks like just a regular camera though. Well, it is a regular camera in that it shoots video, uh, shoots still pictures, but it also shoots full high definition video because um, they started adding that feature to still cameras so that news photographers uh, and National Geographic people could shoot video to put on the websites. But they didn't realize that the camera made such a good picture that the yeah. only kind of thing they could do is make it a high definition. So the quality is almost better than anything you can find. Super quickly, for people who have that dream, like they've always dreamt of making movie or they've always dreamt of doing fill in the blank, what's your one sentence of advice to them? Um, if it's something you want to do, you should do it, no matter what it is in life. Don't let anybody um, stop you, but be responsible. And this way, if you want to make, the mo make a movie, buy this book. It's not everything that may work for you, but you'll find enough to apply so that by the time your movie is, in is finished, you won't be living out of your car. And you'll find it on Amazon.com. Thanks. Yes. Can I be in your next movie? 
You betcha. Thank you. <laughs> I use every, you everything that's available to, to me. You said you to ask. <laughs> that's so funny. All right, Teo? Yeah, I've asked him the same thing on shoots before, I think. It'd be cool.